Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys dragon building guide. It's a pretty difficult one. You see a lot of people going dragons, but you often feel it's just by accident. It's not really. It's pretty tough to go dragons because uh, you need to make it happen kind of all the way through in a smooth transition while not losing too much hit points. Playing dragons is playing like a soft version of murlocs. They're pretty good in the early game, they're great in the late game, but their mid game is quite weak and you have to pace yourself quickly through it. How do you do that? Well, there's certain tips I've picked up. Now, sometimes, but it's really rare, you're going to be able to push to five, get an instant triple, find a Calic Ghost, even though you have like maybe one other dragon, and actually you're able to transition into a dragon build. If you're gonna try to push it that way, it can work, but you're going to have to prepare to lose like 20 health before you start winning games again, because it's not just that you have to buy Battlecry minions, you need to buy the dragons first and that's a bit of a challenge. The typical way I see dragon building uh, work actually happens through playing dragons in the early game in the first few rounds and that usually happens just by chance. If the game gives you a whole bunch of dragons and they're just the best highest stat options in front of you that's what you're going to take and you should seriously consider about pushing into a dragon build as a result. Now you're going to need some pretty key ingredients for this to work. You're typically going to want a dragon with taunt among your different dragons because you're gonna to need to protect your Wax Rider Togwaggle. Now, Wax Rider is not a dragon himself, but he gets stats when one of your dragons kills cards. Considering the first half of every Battlegrounds game is largely dependent on just token minions and really just small annoying things with divine shields sometimes, any kind of dragon is gonna generate kills most of the time. It's really important to have a Taunted Dragons to protect your Wax Rider from the first few hits, but once you get a first few kills with your Dragons, your Wax Rider is going to carry you, maybe not to victory, but he is going to carry you to a position where you have enough health to push to late game Dragons, and that's what you're looking for. If you make it to Tavern 5 and have a decent amount of health, you can try to push for Tavern 6. If you don't, you probably need to try to find Razor Gores and um, the Cobalts, the Dragon Cobalt, this Cobalt Scalebane, the one that gives three attack to a different dragon. You try to basically scale stats, and once you get a, maybe an easier matchup, or one that you think will be an easier matchup, maybe they you can push to six, or hopefully get a lucky triple to Calicos. You kind of need that Calicos to win. If you have one Calicos, Ghost, you're probably going to get like top three, top two. If you have two Caligos, good chance you're going to win. If you get two Caligos and a Nadina, that's the death rattle give all your dragons divine shield, that's going to be a first place strategy that's really only going to lose against extreme high roll polished builds, maybe of the Murloc variety. So it is worth it to play dragons, but you have to be careful doing it because it's a tough build until you get those key late game pieces. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll see you guys next time. Um, Yogg's better, but Malagos is more fun. Just play Malagos, whatever. Yeah, I just got a lot of shit on my screen. What's that? Oh, I missed Sneko's donation for like 10 minutes or something. I used to take a break in between arena games and like thank subs and run a few ads and check donos and stuff like that. And I don't know, last few months it just like Bam, 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 game after game, so. Are you ready? God. Where's my tokens? <laughs> Rip Arena. Well, I could do that in Battlegrounds. I probably should, honestly. And the bro fists. That's right. Dragons one lost to Murlocs one. It means he has the whelp. It means we'll tie. I'm okay with tying, I guess. Oh, I should do this. I don't know what I got. <laughs> Kind of suck. Nothing scares me except mice. 
Yeah, they're all ones, but they work together pretty well. The new mech is worse than Cobalt. I'll take it. Hello. Some minions in play. I'll take it. I'll transform it back next turn into something that doesn't suck, hopefully. He's doing it. Well, okay, if I get two other pogos next round, I'll definitely take that. Nice snipe. Very low roll game, honestly. Good at this. Fixed, see? That's why we took the pogo. Because one day he's going to be somebody. Either a big pogo or literally someone else. <laughs> Which we're fine with. Played Illidan twice. I did really well with him once and just okay another. Wow, triple ghoul, that's actually insane. It is actually insane. Don't do that. Uh. A good tactical choice. Better hire a recruit while you can. It's good to get some minions in play. Fine. Yeah, that did not work out very well, but still okay. Yeah, that's the shit I was looking for. Nice. Nice. Less nice. Nice! Nice. Not nice. Oh, I'll definitely take that. Are you kidding me? Him for nine? That guy's done. He's at like 20 health. Nice work out there. Keep... I can't believe I haven't lost. This is really low roll. Just a really low roll lobby right now. Probably change in a second with uh, my match against the Millhouse. Proceeds to do 9 damage. Yeah, because tokens are stupid. Seriously? Man, that was a bullshit snipe. Crazy unlucky, you lose by one. Okay, fine.
It's okay. Something will work out at some point. I think the only thing carrying me is Spawn on Azoth, but it'll probably stop carrying me right about now. Menagerie. Well, if I get a triple and get Nadina or Caligos, we can probably push a dragon build pretty well. Reno just went to five. What? Sounds like a total YOLO to me, but okay, let's see. Well, he's dead. You're good at this. There are some good cards here. Go big or go home, I always say. Well, that got pretty juicy. I really want to reroll that, but I kind of need the dragon. is a problem. Nice. Oh! What was that? Was that good luck? This is borderline unbelievable. I don't know, those are going to scale really fast. I should probably dump the Nazoth. This guy's very strong. It is winnable, but I gotta get good attacks here. That is not a good attack. That is not a good attack. What am I supposed to do here? Transform that, maybe? It's the only thing I could buy now. Two battle cries, I can do better. No battle cries, okay, I can definitely do better than that. 
And the fives and the Razor Gore. Well, that was one thing that would have worked. Yeah, I get rid of the spawn. Freeze for whelp. No, no. And any battle cry is stronger than just getting a whelp. Huge cleave here. Ouch. Everything is just slightly out of range. It's a huge problem. Do I freeze? It's pretty hard to play that right now. Judging by that, I'll probably kill this guy. And then I'm up against big dragons or big menagerie something. Nah. Level and getting Adina. It's hard to do that, but yeah, I might. on six. He has an Adina. just gonna lose here well maybe not judging off of that downgrade yeah but if I got Caligos it would have tripled if I got Nadina I would have probably beat anything you can transform into itself gas coiler is about as good my excellence is probably better and he attacks first Act on that one. Oh my god, I won. Okay. And he hit for six. Cleaves. I just split my biggest. I'm sure, those two. Um. Well, I mean, I I beat her. I'm stronger now. She's dead, so not stronger. So it's important to get battle cries and then play Nadina as a finale. You're a part of the Megasaur or something. I'm looking for the the battle cry that buffs all taunts. That's why I gave everything taunt because I wanted that one exact card that I never ever got. Work, 
work out there. Keep up the pressure. They didn't kill each other? Jeez. A lot of health left. It's not the strongest, but it'll fight hard. Okay, I can roll one more for a battle cry. We can roll this one in case we get the plus taunt. Nah, didn't get it. It's a lot of battle cries, but like, doesn't really matter. I want to split the cleave, but we want that to go really late. I think I'm gonna roll... The only way I'm playing stuff again is if I triple Caligos or get another Nadina. So there's no point to freeze on three battle cries. Three battle cries is good, but I have nowhere to play them. This guy literally quit. How did he know? I would still see it through. What can I say? There's, there's a good bit of randomness in this game. Alright, so if I sell Nadina in order to buy Nadina, I can play one more battle cry. Down a minion and up a goal. How does that look? I don't know, if I get the taunt guy I'll buy it. Nope. Your power is six. That was literally the first six that showed up. I had that on my mind. Thirty-one against the ghost. Wow. She didn't have Caligos. She actually can't win. Easy game. Everyone's she can't win. Watch out. I think even with two Nadinas, she can't win. Oh, she picked up Caligos. Okay, she can win. Damn. Insta snipe. Terrible hit there. Ooh. Got it. 